Todd Doubledy. I'm an art teacher and over the years people have asked me about my faux glaze that I make because we all know doing ceramics is fun, we know firing everything is a big pain, and then when they get out I honestly can't stand the way they feel. It like hurts my fingers and I can't stand to send them home like this. <clears throat> but having all those kids glaze pieces and firing them all again just sounds like torture. So this is what I have always done. Um, people always ask me about it, so while I'm making a mess today, I thought I'd just go ahead and show you. Um, I use hashtag not an ad, but I use a school specialty acrylic gel medium. It's a high gloss, and I take about one part this. It's pretty gloopy. Don't get it on your clothes. It's like it's basically clear acrylic, but it has a shine. It's kind of wasteful today, but you're worth it. Okay, so I take about roughly, roughly, and you're gonna be using a big container like this. Um, roughly one part acrylic to whatever color you're gonna use. Oh, that's enough. Um, the more color you use, or the, mo the more paint you use, the darker your color will be. Uh, everything you see on the table I've done with this faux glaze today. This fish, this gargoyle with just a little bit of black and the um, the clear acrylic gel medium. Uh, you, it works with the silver acrylic. I've done it with fossil pots and then when you let it dry it kind of like soaks in more to the cracks and really gives this nice fossil-y kind of look. I've done it with the copper paint. I do it with my lizards. I dip them in a color and then the kids put the dots on them. And then if I'm really in a good mood, I will paint them with this at the end. Just give that a quick swipe or mix this with some water and give them like a clear gloss finish at the end to really shine them up like these lizards. Uh, I do it with my furious furry friends. Um, and I hand them to the kids all a solid color. They get a couple of color choices. I dip them a minute later, they're ready to paint and they do the eyes and the nose, but everybody comes out a solid color. I feel like it saves me a lot of paint then. My cute little mini mice, which I use uh, white clay, but then I put the platinum, it's something platinum, also not an ad, but it's school specialty, platinum acrylic gel medium, something like that, but it's got this nice shimmer and shine to it, which you can add to any of these things. I think I might add it a little bit in this silver penguin. <clears throat> but again, everything you see, I've done the faux glaze on. This, I do this with kindergarten these hearts. I have them color them with crayons first, and then I dip them in the silver and pull them out and then give them a quick wipe, and that all the, all the silver wipes off from the crayon part because the wax resists, and the silver goes into all these other parts, and it makes for a really nice uh, gift that it's like to give to someone. All right, anyhow, I'm rambling. So roughly one part acrylic gloss medium, one part uh, paint. If you have something with a lid that you can uh, put the lid on and shake it up good, that's probably your best bet. But since I don't have anything like that, I'm gonna start slow and I'm gonna get this mixed together. Otherwise, if, if I pour this all into the big container, there will be small bits that don't get mixed in and then it will come out looking weird not cool like speckly, just like weird on your product. So you might want to start slowly doing this, or like I said, find something with a lid so that you can shake it up. Just make sure you're getting all the chunks. And then I leave this on my, on my table, these colors for about like a week in these big containers. I do like lay foil over them. Sometimes, you know, I don't know, if, if I hang them onto something for a kid to finish a project, they might get a couple stink, a little stinky after about a week or so, but otherwise I just cover them up and tell the kids, you know, hands off and stay away. And, uh, and they'll last, you know, until you get everything done and then you can throw them away. All right, so you will see that I have my table covered with a plastic bag that serves a couple purposes. This is probably mixed well enough. There's probably some science word for that, like solution or emulsion or something. But anyhow, that I can, now I can even add more water than this, but I really want to, oh, I guess I can pause the video, right? Um. 
I'm gonna go ahead and add more water to this. So maybe it's like, I don't know, one eighth of acrylic paint and one eighth of acrylic gel medium. There's really no scientific method. It's all just kind of trial and error. You really can't mess it up and you can always have a couple of test pieces laying around. So I had these pieces laying around in my room. And while you're faux glazing, uh, give them a stir once in a while, especially like the metal colors. But anyhow, and I left my tongs at work. I usually use tongs and I take a piece and I dip it into my faux glaze. And just depending on how dark I want the color, I'll leave it, I don't know, 20 seconds. How long is that bad? 20 seconds maybe. Now, if I take it out and let it dry and I dip it again, it'll take forever to dry. But if I take this out and I set it down and I talk to you nicely about, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't know, I can't think of anything to say. I could probably just pause this and cut out 60 seconds. But the glaze is, it's soaking in, it's drying up. The plastic underneath is keeping it from going anywhere and uh, the bisqueware or whatever you call it is sucking up the glaze and it's actually almost dry already. If I wait a little bit longer, the plastic underneath will be pretty much clean because it will all have soaked in. And I usually tell the kids, I'm like, I'm like, after I dip this, count to a hundred slowly. And then you can take it back to your table and start working. And it is pretty much done. Now, uh, if I didn't like this color, I could add some more blue, which I'm probably not gonna do because I don't really wanna waste the paint today, but you kind of get the idea. If I take something and I leave it in a little bit longer, it will get more color. If you've got the idea, you're welcome to turn this off and go now, but if you're totally into it, then you know you can stay. When I do the fossil pots, I didn't bring one of these examples home, but I, I do this with uh, a little bit of the black. And sometimes, see this one has a little bit more color. But you can see right there, I touched it with a wet finger and that part did not take any more acrylic. So once it, once it takes the acrylic, it's not gonna take too much more after it's dry. You can, you can try and I could do this in, but it'll take a lot longer for it to dry this time because all those pores are already closed up. But yeah, you can double dip if you want. No one's gonna judge. Um, anyhow, back to the fossil pot. So I would take, take a fossil pot like this and I would maybe dip half of it in and then let it dry for a couple seconds and then dip the whole thing in and it will make like a cool line going through and like one part will be darker and one part will be light, lighter. Maybe like it's like a real fossil or you know, different sedimentary layers or I don't know, something like that. But anyhow, that is my faux glaze. This one is almost completely dry already. It happens so fast, it's not very messy, and it's so much easier than trying to get acrylic paint out to the kids. And like I said, I could hand this back now, and they could you know, put little sprinkles on top of their cupcake or you know, whatever, whatever you want. But yeah, like a project like the cupcakes makes it a lot easier because you, know, you can have all of the, the cake parts done before they even come in. And then you can be like, all right, you, know, you get four choices for your icing color, and then you can have green and red to paint your flower or your sprinkles or whatever. All right, I'm rambling. We have a tough job. I believe in you. Keep it up.